We have breaking news. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is speaking in Qatar after meeting with officials there on a potential hostage deal. Let's listen. Just look at what we've seen in the last couple of months and indeed in the last couple of weeks. Attacks in Syria and Iraq. Attacks on Israel from Lebanon. Attacks on international shipping in the Red Sea. Attacks in Jordan that killed three U.S. service members. And of course, the attack on Israel on October 7th. Each and every one carried out by groups trained, armed, funded, informed by Iran. Iran and its proxies claim that they're carrying out these attacks somehow on behalf of the Palestinian people. That is absolutely wrong, and it's a cover for their true intent. Not a single one of these attacks has advanced the rights, the opportunities, the security, and the dignity of the Palestinians. They are all fundamentally about Iran's quest for power. Since October 7th, we've been very clear in warning any actor that would try to take advantage of the conflict, don't do it. We've been very clear that we do not want to see the conflict expanded. We don't want to see escalation. Uh, but we've also been clear that if our personnel, if our people are threatened, if they're attacked, we will respond. We will defend them. We are responding to violence, not initiating it. We're seeking to prevent escalation, not fuel it. And as we do this, we will continue to use every tool available to us to reach an extended pause that gets hostages out, that gets more assistance in, that brings calm to Gaza's civilians, and that keeps diplomacy moving forward toward an integrated and more secure region. In these efforts, we're very fortunate to have Qatar as a partner. Sabr Ayyub, Al Arabi TV. My first question is addressed to His Excellency, Prime Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs. What is the evaluation of Qatar for the regional developments and what is its message to concerned parties with these developments? Is, um, to uh, the Secretary of, uh, of State, uh, Mr. Antony Blinken, why it seems too hard for the United States to end the war on Gaza, or at least to push for a ceasefire? Are you, uh, or are we going to witness uh, soon a ceasefire? Is it going to be signed here, or true signed here in Qatar, or agreed here in Qatar, in Doha? And uh, lastly, before you travel to um, Israel and meet uh, Netanyahu, uh, I'm going to ask the same question that Politico asked today. Is Mr. Anthony Blinken too nice to be Secretary of State? Thank you. With regards to our evaluation of the regional developments, we have uh, since the beginning had a clear position. War should end. Uh, there shouldn't be an expansion of uh, conflicts in the region. Unfortunately, we witness uh, an expansion of uh, tensions. There are some forces taking advantage and using this uh, conflict, whereas there are uh, forces that uh, seek to create these uh, tensions. We believe and we see that the way towards uh, solution and de-escalation is uh, reaching and achieving a just and fair uh, solution for the Palestinian cause, in addition to putting an end to the war on Gaza. We always call every pa all parties, concerned parties, to uh, self-restraint. We are in communication with all and we do not want to see an escalation in the region. We do not uh, want to witness more uh, death in addition to what we are seeing today to, uh, of, from challenges to the freedom of uh, navigation, which would affect not only the uh, security of the region, but trade overall. The the best path forward, the most effective path forward right now to get an extended period of calm um, and to work toward an end to the conflict 
is through an agreement on the hostages. And that's what we're intensely focused on with our partners here in Qatar, uh, Egypt, uh, working uh, with Israel. Uh, and of course, now that we have the response from Hamas to the proposal that was put on the table uh, a week or so ago, uh, we're going to be very intensely focused on, uh, on that. And again, that offers the, the prospect of extended calm, hostages out, more assistance in. Uh, that would clearly be beneficial to everyone. Uh, and I think that offers the best path forward. But uh, there's a lot of work to be done to, uh, to achieve it. We're very focused on doing, uh, doing that work. Now, of course, as we've uh, said all along, all of this could have been over yesterday, last month, three months ago, four months ago, first of all, if Hamas had not committed the atrocities of October 7th. And second, after that, had they stopped hiding behind civilians, had they put down their weapons, um, and uh, had they uh, surrendered. But that, of course, has not happened. So the best path now is to see if we can make real this renewed hostage agreement. Um, I'll let others uh, speak to uh, my character. Um, and uh, all I can say is that uh, most people who assume the position that I have the great privilege of assuming now uh, don't get there by being nice all the time. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.